Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today I am doing a kitchen clean and then I'm going to show you how I deep clean my front load washing machine as well as one of my favorite kitchen tips on how to keep your rags and sponges smelling amazing. Now you can see I'm just starting with the kitchen. If you've been watching my videos for any length of time, you will know that I always function better with my kitchen clean. When I clean my kitchen, I normally like to just clean off all of the countertops and get everything in the sink or next to it that needs to be washed. That way I'm not like washing dishes and then I turn around and find like three more things I need to wash and get back to that. So I always like to start by cleaning off the countertops. here you can see some of the kids toys are on the floor and like a cup is on the counter that needs to be on the refrigerator i'm just picking up these last bit of things in the kitchen and then i'm going to move over here and i'm going to go through the towels i'm going to put most of them that need to be washed in the washing machine and then i'm also going to look through and find some rags and some of the kitchen towels that were starting to smell and have you know i don't know if you ever had this but my kitchen towels after a while they just get this weird stench to them and it does not go away so i'm going to show you what i do to get rid of that so what i do is i start with a big pot of hot water and I'm going to add one tablespoon of baking soda. You can do as big or as little as you want, and technically you can use as much baking soda as you want, but this is just what I do. And then you want to add your rags and your towels, whatever has that nasty smell. You wanna mix it all up and make sure it's covered in the water. Okay, so as you can see right here, I needed more water, so I added about four more cups just so I can make sure that everything was covered. I 
set my timer and I let these boil for 20 minutes, just make sure that you keep a close eye on it because if you don't watch, it will boil over. And that happened a little bit to me, but sometimes it gets really bad and it gets all over the stove and then you have to clean it. So just keep an eye on it. Here I'm taking everything out. Now normally I'll just dump it all out into the sink, but I wanted to show you guys how dirty the water was. So I got everything out and it's pretty disgusting. And here I'm just um, rinsing everything off with cold water. That way it's easier to throw into the washing machine because these rags are extremely hot. Look how disgusting that water is. It's crazy how boiling things for just 20 minutes gets all that disgusting gook off of everything. Now I'm going to put the rags into the washing machine and start a load with all the rest of the towels. You definitely want to do that. And then I'm just adding my laundry detergent here. But you really will want to smell them after they come out of the dryer because it's amazing. And here I'm just showing you my stove. That is from all of the baking soda from when the pot boiled over a little bit. So I am going to start cleaning that right now. So here I'm using a magic eraser to clean my glass stove top. This is what I have found to work the best, but I would love to know what you use on your glass stove top. So if you could just leave me a comment below. And what I also like to do is take the Norwex window cloth, cloth and just use that to polish it and it looks really nice. And I don't know if you can tell here, but that burner was still a little hot, but that's okay. It still worked and I still got the finished product that I wanted. Okay, so now we are moving over to cleaning the front load washing machine. I'm not going to lie, this is going to be pretty disgusting. This is real life over here, people. I don't clean this very often, and I saw it the other day, and I was like, oh man, I really need to clean this. So we're just going to get in here and get all of this nice and clean. Here I'm just going to dump some Thieves Cleaner in. My spray bottle actually broke, so I was stuck just dumping it in, but um, this worked pretty well to use a paper towel that actually got it the cleanest. Uh, so I got all in those little spaces and just tried to get all that gook out of it.
Okay, here you go, guys. Look at how much better this is. I feel so much better having these cleaned. I don't know if you're like this, but when I get some deep cleaning done, it just makes me feel so good. Now, technically, I'm not really sure what this is called, but basically, I'm going to drain out some of the water that is like stuck in here, and that's going to allow me to get into the other part. <laughs> um, sometimes socks and things can get stuck down there, so I just wanted to check and make sure that nothing got stuck in the washing machine. Okay, so this is probably the worst part. You can see it's kind of gross. Now, I clean here pretty often because if you don't, your washer will start to smell really funny. So we're gonna start here and get this nice and clean. Here I'm just trying out my magic eraser. I've been addicted to these lately and I've never tried cleaning the front load with this. It didn't work that great and I needed to keep it super wet for it to actually do anything. So I thought I would give it a try but definitely a thumbs down. So I decided to bring out the bleach and this always works the best. I always bleach my front load washing machine. I try to do this a couple times a month just because you really want to keep up with it. That way something that is washing your clothes is actually clean. Okay, so I did it on rinse and spin and now it's done. So I'm going to turn it back on and I am going to put it on self clean. And that goes for four hours. And I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this or not, but what I like to do is I will put in some laundry detergent and just be careful depending on what kind you use it can get really full of bubbles. I'm not sure if it really matters or not, but I'm using the Thieves laundry detergent and that doesn't bubble up as much. I have used some in the past and it was really bubbly, but anyway. So we're just gonna let that go for four hours. Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like after it got done self-cleaning. Now, the 
best thing to do would be to dry this out completely and to keep it from smelling the best thing to do is dry it out every single time you use it i have done that but sometimes it gets busy and i always forget but this is what i like to do to try to keep my front load washer smelling great and clean thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye